What it is, guys, it's Shadana. We're back at again with another review, so let's just get straight into it. This one is the last hero of Nostalgia. If that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I'll say Nostalgia. That's just me. Um, so basically, it's a bit of a weird one. The best way to describe it is it doesn't really have any accessibility features, like none, absolutely none. And I'm very disappointed about that. So I have to give this game a zero out of 10 for accessibility because there are none. There's no, uh, no, addition, no accessibility features. And that is basically all I can say on that one. I just feel that it should have had some accessibility features. Yes, you can use a controller, but it's it's a standard thing to be able to have a, a controller support for most games nowadays. And I don't really think that that should give it even a point because it's a standard thing to support controllers nowadays. Accessibility features should be button remappings. It should be colorblind features, subtitles and stuff like that or audio descriptive above just normal basic subtitles and there should be a form of text to speech option for those who are blind that's just my opinion we'll get into the review now and based on this game's experience it is definitely a parody or homage to the souls like genre specifically dark souls like this game is literally trying to rip off Dark Souls. Now, I'm not trying to say that in a bad way. It literally, in my opinion, is one of those games where it, it is a re-scope of the uh, genre into a comedy style. And they take the mickey out of what it is. So... <sighs> For lack of a better way of describing it, you play this non-specific stick man who in a 3D world is the savior of the world as it loses all fidelity and the narrator hates you from the get-go because you are just a stick man. He absolutely goes out of his way to change the, the way that the game works to try and kill you. And don't get me wrong, that is a very nice take on the whole system. But that doesn't pull away from the fact that they haven't really done anything innovative for the genre. It plays exactly like a normal Dark Souls game would play but it's done in a satirical comedic style. And that's basically it to describe the game. It plays very well. It handles just like any Dark Souls game would. Just the fact that your character is a pile of sticks. And that's basically it. <laughs> I know it sounds very Fredbear, but it is. It's basically a threadbare story, a threadbare game, and for lack of a better way of describing it, is the only way I would recommend this as a game to play would be if this game was being recommended to a Dark Souls fan as a joke, you know? It's something that a Dark Souls fan would not only like, but also find very infuriating because it's taken the mickey out of a genre that they love. And I feel that it may annoy some people, but it, it's definitely a unique take on on the way of doing Dark Souls, especially in the fact that it's satirical of its own genre. But that being said, it's very well made. It handles very well. And don't forget, guys, to down and smash that like button. Greatly appreciated and never expected. It does exactly what it needs to in this game. I, I wouldn't say that it tries to step out of the confines of the genre. It just stays safe and, and happy within that space. 
the story is very very linear but it is an open world it does allow you to explore and go to different places find loads of different bosses find different weapons learn about the lore of the game through the weapons and learn about the stories that each weapons hold and the memories that they have because the world is slowly fading into a into a stick world kind of thing and you as the stick man has to save the world and make it remember how beautiful and fully rendered it is in all its glory which is kind of ironic considering that you are playing as a stick man and you're trying to 3 dify the entire world when stick men are 2d and it, it's, a, it's a very odd and very satirical at the same what the same time and it it's very hard to quantify why it's good but it's that weird quirky thing that you know it shouldn't be good but it is good at the same time and the biggest problem i have with this game is the fact that there are no accessibility features none i sat there looking for everything and the only thing it has is you can go into the game's settings and go into uh, and, and manually rebind keys from mouse and keyboard to controller it takes a while to do and it took me a while to to get everything to work right and then it's a, not really a good work right it's like a jank working right and that's the best way to describe it so that being said i would recommend this game only to dark souls players dark souls content creators dark souls fans i wouldn't recommend it to anyone else but that's just my opinion on it that's just my stance on it let me know what you guys think on this one it is very odd very polarizing i feel you are gonna, it's a definitely a marmite game you're gonna either love it or you're gonna hate it and that's 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 my take on it that's what my opinion on it it's definitely a marmite game it is definitely one that whilst you may find it ha ha funny it's not ha ha i just spent money on this why the hell did i do that kind of thing but you have to be invested in the genre it is definitely based on a Dark Souls fans love for the franchise that being said guys that's my opinion that's my take on it let me know if you've played it let me know if you're interested in it sound off in the comments don't forget to leave a like comment and share it out to any of your friends who might like this style of game and we are live on this channel six days a week Tuesday through to Sunday 6 p.m GMT or when we're in summertime GMT plus one we're actually coming out of summer going into winter months so it's just normal gmt but as always guys thank you for being here thank you for the love and support be safe be well have fun gaming and i will see you in the next one take care guys